Welcome back, Internet. What is the Internet? Can I ask? Welcome to Painting with Rob, the only show where we really go into the intricacies of painting, where we really delve into all of the fine details, all of the things that really... Art changes your life. Art is all about change. Let's start it off. We're going to uh, open up a blank canvas. Now, uh, a bit of an introduction for what we're going to be painting today. Some of you know that a couple of these painting shows can get a little bit intense. They can get a little bit hardcore. Not not everybody's used to that. Not everybody can can take that level of um, painting. So today we are going to be drawing something a little bit less intense. We're drawing applesauce spilling onto a paper plate. Now we don't have much time, so let's get right into it. First of all, we're going to need a jar, because I've never seen applesauce not in a jar. Have you? If you have, leave it in the comments, the, leave, it in the, leave it in the below comments down below. And I'll, here we go, we're going to fill it, we're going to want to select it, uh, a yellow, not from the pre-selected colors. Art is all about having your own colors, and if you choose from, from a template, well, there's like no point even. Like, you might as well just be using someone else's colors. And art is all about individualism. Uh, so we're going to choose a shade that really sets us right for applesauce. Now, I like my applesauce with a couple chunks of apples in it. I don't like it as a paste. I like whole apples to bite. I don't like the sauces. So uh, we're going to make this sort of color. Now, the jar is going to be on its side, obviously, and the um, the sauce is just going to be spilling out like an oil spill into the Atlantic. Right, perfect, like that. And it's going to come all the way back in. And now we're going to make a closed shape. Actually, within this closed shape, it's going to be absolutely redonkulous. Look at this, ready? Here we go. Uh, we're going across, we're like halfway there. I don't know if we're going to make it. No, we got it. Alright, cool, cool. Uh... Excellent. Now we're going to uh, head over to our fill bucket. Fill that sucker up with that yellow paste. Look at that. Now that is sauce and a half. I tell you, I know sauce. That is sauce and a half. Half and a half. So, uh, perfect. Now next up, we're going to complete the jar. Because right now, all we have is just a jar. It's, it's not good enough. Okay, hold up. I'm getting too ahead of myself. Art is all about being patient. Just sit back. Contemplate for a minute. Think about what this art means to you. To me, this art means applesauce spilling onto a paper plate. So let's finish up this jar here. We're going to uh, sort of come off from about this angle here. Uh, now this is going to be one of those long-necked bottles. I don't know how many of you know about different kinds of bottles, but this is going to be one of those long-necked bottles. Uh, and it's going to be more of a tub, really, than a bottle. And it's going to come around just like that. Brilliant, brilliant. And then we're going to drag that puppy all the way back here. And around. And back. Now, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Art is all about bottles. Think about what the bottle looks like before you draw it. Don't do anything without planning it out first. Now, me, personally... I like to make a diagram the night before of what I'm going to draw. So I'm looking at the template while I draw. Now this next part I'm going to improvise. Um, in fact, this whole thing is improvised. I'm going to take this yellow, and I'm going to just really, really lightly go in through here. Drag across there and take out the lip of the bottle so it doesn't intrude on our uh, applesauce. Now, contrary to popular belief, art is not at all all about intrusion. Art is all about intrusion. Let's fill this in. Beautiful. All right. Now you can see in this art how it seems like it's just pouring right out of that bottle. That's what we want. That's the look you want to want. Now, the next part is kind of difficult. I'm not going to lie. As an experienced painter, I'm 100% ready, but some of you might not be, okay? Now, as much as these videos have helped you, as much as they made you grow as an artist, there are some things that you have to accept are beyond your level, okay? Now, I'm going to take a sip of water. Next up is the paper plate. We're going to select the um, brush here. 
then we're going to get a 50% uh, gray in our color path. Uh, we're going to select a, uh, oh, looks like three pixels wide brush. And we're going to just whack, stick that on there and drag it all the way around. And you don't want to make a complete circle. This is a plate, but there's still perspective in this drawing. Art is all about perspective. I have said it so many times. Honestly, now we're going to uh, make sort of a lip of a paper plate. Now, I don't know about you guys. I come from a, a household where we always had these uh, these paper plates with the ridges. Like it wasn't just a flat piece of paper, which was weird. Uh, and you know what they have. They have these weird little... They have these so that the applesauce doesn't get off, right? Of the uh, plate, that is. Art is all about ridges. Make sure each one is just ah oh, beautiful. Now, <laughs> when's the last time you bought applesauce out of a white container that had no label on it? Okay, now, this is a huge market. People are not just giving away applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> what are you who are you fooling so we're going to make the label um, we're going to click on this green here from the palette we're actually not going to use the palette color we're going to make it a lighter green because that's what applesauce labels want to be they're projecting this idea that this applesauce is cleaner clearer purer, hundred percent apple better than all the other applesauces out there now we're going to make the label real fast speedy quick I always say it's like I always say Speed quick, so we're going to uh, wrap this around here, this puppy, just like that. Oh, spectacular, spectacular work by me, obviously. So, um, I'm gonna get this red here, fill it in red. Um, now we're almost done. I'm just kidding. No, we have much more to do. Uh, we're going to be doing some a little bit of calligraphy. Uh, so we're going to want to get our calligraphy brush out right here. Calligraphy brush number one. I'm going to come over here with the black and we're going to write upside down, mind you. App, uh, applesauce. Applesauce. Sauce with an S, by the way. Now, the thing I like about using the calligraphy pens, they just look so dandy. And you can make these cute little things above the eyes. Ah, oh, they're not exactly hearts. They're not hearts. Nope, art is not about hearts. Art is all about little dots over the eyes, not hearts. If you put a heart over an eye in a piece of artwork, your art is garbage, and you need to, you need to follow the reviews. I am sick and tired of people thinking that they are able to make art not the way I make it. The way I make it is how it has to be. Art is all about expressing your creativity and being yourself. If you try and follow somebody else's guidelines, it's just not going to work out for you. So we're going to head over. You have to choose this brush, by the way. Uh, and next up, we're going to just add a little bit of detail. We're actually going to use the paint bucket instead of that brush, so click on that. Uh, and we're going to fill in that one color. Then we're going to switch to the darker shade on the color template. We're going to fill in that. And now this last one is not going to be black because black is not the color of applesauce containers. Art is not about black. I've said it many times. Okay, and we're filling that in. Now, look at that. Who doesn't want to eat applesauce out of what seems like a paint canister? In fact, never mind. All right, now we're going to uh, come in here and we're going to add a little bit of detail. Just a little bit of detail, not a lot. To um, to our applesauce here, I'm going to get one of those nice dark mucusy yellow colors. I'm going to just draw lumps, like it's boiling off almost, like the like the applesauce is boiling off of the plate. And uh, now, see, we're almost done. We're almost done. But um, you're noticing something's missing here. You're absolutely right. The cap, the cap for the applesauce. Now. Obviously, it's going to match the label because you know these companies, they always brand everything they have. Uh, so we're going to grab our black, and we are going to uh, make a nice line here, and another line here, and then we're going to drag it up and around, 
make that into a circle. Oh, <laughs> bet you didn't see that coming. You know why? It's because you don't pay attention enough. Pay attention a little bit more. You'll see stuff coming. And you gotta have your uh, hand grippy things here. You gotta grippy with your hands, sort of, sort of thing. Uh, and we're going to switch to our fill bucket with a, a, a nice red color. And we're going to fill that in red. And then fill that in red. And uh, afterwards, we are going to get a lighter shade and fill the inside a different shade of uh, red. Now you'll notice something that happened. Somewhere along the line, I messed up. And uh, I, did, I forgot to make it a closed shape. Now, I feel like uh, I've said it before. Art is about closed shapes. You have to make a closed shape. It's all art is. It's only closed shapes. So we're going to go in here with a, little, a bit of surgical precision, and we're just going to, <clears throat> just like that, close that off. Now we can grab our paint bucket and the white color and return that to its natural state. And now our cap is completed. Absolutely brilliant. Now I'm going to grab uh, black with a paintbrush. I'm going to come along here and I'm going to make those little ridges that they use to seal the cap right on. And it's just going to be lovely. Beautiful. And now on the inside, just for consistency's sake, we're going to draw the little ridges that attach in there. Now, that's what I mean when I say attention to detail. That's what I mean when I say attention to detail. That's what I mean when I say attention to detail. Uh, and it looks like overall this piece is just about done, so... No, you're wrong. You're wrong if you think it's done. You're wrong. Uh, because we don't have a spoon. How are you supposed to enjoy it without a spoon? So we're going to draw a quick spoon here. Alright, and now we are done. Nicely done, everyone. You should have followed along pretty exactly. Um, that's really all there is to it. There's really nothing else to it. It's one of those things where uh, it's it's the because no, you know what is.